Good morning, beautiful girl. Good morning, beautiful. <laughs> what are we doing today? Um, do potty. Are we doing potty training? Potty. <gasps> yes. Good morning, everybody. So it is um, it is October eighth, two thousand eighteen, and we are starting potty training. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that I've needed to talk about for a while because it just it happened months ago, but I just never have made it. I'm going to talk about how I potty trained my two-year-old, my daughter Everly. So I started potty training my daughter when she was two years old. Um, it was a couple months after she turned two. Before that, when she was even one, she had gone in the potty before, but I never like forced the training on her because I was like, mm, maybe she'll just like pick it up as she's ready. Um, we had a little potty that you could just like remove the thing, little bucket, the <laughs> no, bucket, the little thing that's to let you, okay. What? We had like a little toddler potty where it was on the ground and then you can remove it and then dump it um, whenever she went to the bathroom. So she used that a lot. Um, then when we officially started potty training, we got the step stool and then the little thing that you put on top of the toilet so she doesn't fall in. I don't know what that's called. Little toddler seat, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. We have actually a pretty tall toilet because my grandma, this is my great grandma's house, and it was hard for her to get off the smaller one, so she got like a taller one. So that kind of made it a little bit more difficult. Um, Everly can't. It's like a pretty tall step stool that we got, so she can't really get up there by herself yet. Um, so every time she needs help. So, um, the beginning stages of how we started this is we told her that it was going to be, um, we're going to start potty training, and we bought a big yellow board, and we had her help decorate it. We, we had just visited um, a train and she loved trains. Um, actually, we had done it for a video on my vlogging channel. If you want to go check that out, I'll have that train video link, link down below. So she was super into trains and so we I drew a train and we had her kind of help decorate it and then we drew, You can. it's kind of hard to see now, but we drew these like little tracks in there. Um, these stickers were not there. And I drew, a, it was huge. I did a huge, like, railroad track. Very, very big because I wanted it to be fun. And I wanted, um, I wasn't really sure how fast she was going to fill it up. So she helped me with that, which got her excited. And, um, and after we did that, we put it on the wall right next to the bathroom. There's a little tiny hallway. And then right outside the bathroom, there's a wall. And we put it on there. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, sh um, as I explain to her, I will explain to you. I've already explained to her, but it's been uh, like two days since I really explained it, so I'm going to go ahead and explain to you both. What's that? Milk. Milk? Okay, yeah. you ready? Let's look at your potty training chart. So we made this um, two days ago, and it's not the prettiest thing in the whole world, but it was fun to create. She had lots of fun, and it's Everly's Potty Training Chart. Get it? Train. Um, she really loves train, trains. In fact, we went and saw a really old um, steam locomotive the day that we made this chart. So I thought it was really fitting. Okay. So she's going to start here, Everly. You're going to start here, okay? And then every time you go to the potty, we're going to put a sticker in one of these squares, okay? Okay. When you get to a little star, you get a piece of candy. Okay. When you get to a big star, you get a big prize. Okay. Okay? So what I did is I did that about halfway, and then I started for up here is every three squares, and then it started down here every four squares. And then once I got to here, I started every five squares, because I don't have an unlimited supply of big, big prizes. I'm hoping I have enough. So, um, sorry, I tried to state this, uh, tape that to the wall to work. Then when she gets to the very, very end, she gets the big special surprise. 
which I haven't figured out what it is yet, but I have an idea of something fun we will go okay. and do Yay. and have a really fun okay. day with her. All right, so let's go look at where we have our stickers right next to our chart in my uh, towel cabinet here since it's just right close and she picked out a bunch of stickers at the dollar store. This was so easy, you guys. I literally got the chart, the stickers, and all the prizes at the dollar store. I mean, she's two. She's not really going to care where it's from. And then I got her potty training stuff. Like, um, my grandma's actually got her this stool because we have a really high toilet. And then we got her that little um, toilet seat to put on. Um, then we got, <clears throat> oh my gosh, we took her to the dollar store and we had her pick out all the kinds of different stickers that she would want. So we really made it fun for her and that's something that was going to be really exciting. And then, so the day that it came, the very first thing we did in the morning is we said, okay, it's time to potty train. You need to go in the potty. So the diapers are going bye-bye. We gathered all the diapers throughout the house. We put them in a box and we put them outside for the mailman to come and take them to other babies who actually need them. Um, and yeah, so I mean, what we really did was put them in the trunk of our car and then we donated them. But you know, we just put them outside so that she knew they were going to go away. Um, they were going to be taken away and she wasn't going to have diapers anymore. We got rid of all the diapers. Now we did buy pull-ups and the reason for that is because she was still waking up very wet at night. Um, and she sleeps a long time. She sleeps at least 12 hours. So, um, sometimes longer. And, um, so that's a long time to hold it. And so she does wear pull-ups for nap time and bedtime because she still can't hold it while she's sleeping yet. Um, speaking of which, if you have any tips on how to get them to do that, let me know. Because sometimes I would even forget to put a pull-up on just for nap time. Every time I woke up and I had to clean up pee, I had to change her sheets. Um, um, we also took her to buy underwear and she got to pick out a couple different um, designs and pretty uh, shop princess one and stuff like that um, so that she could be excited to wear them. So, yeah, we took, got rid of all of her diapers. Okay, are you ready for our first task? Yeah. Our first task is to get all of your diapers and put them in a box. To, we're going to give them away. They're going to go bye bye and they're going to go to a baby who needs them. Okay, no more diapers. You ready? Let's go get a box yeah. and let's go get all your diapers. Baby? Yep, to, we're going to give them to another baby. Get all your diapers and put them in the box. Okay. No more diapers. Okay. Okay, we have, I think we have some in your diaper bag, so let's go get your diaper bag. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can find more diapers in here. Here's a diaper. Okay. Put in the box. Okay. Here's some more. Okay. These are swimmers, so we don't really need to get rid of the swimmers. Yeah. Alright, I think that's it. No more diapers. Okay. Okay. Baby needs them. Yeah, baby needs them. I can't leave. The mailman's gonna come pick them up and take them to another baby. Okay. Okay. Here we go. No more diapers. And then we started the timer. So we told her every time she goes potty, she gets a sticker on there. Okay, so I think what I did was every third one for the first half of the chart, I put a star. And every other star, there was a big star and then a little star. Um, then when she got a, I started out with a little star. When she got a little star, she got um, a little piece of candy. Then when she got a big star, she got a bigger prize. So I didn't let her see these things, but I went to the dollar store. It doesn't need to be expensive. Um, cause honestly, she didn't care. She just cared she got a prize. Now, let me show you guys what we did for prizes. We have this big bucket full of really awesome prizes that she will get to choose from. Okay? Okay. When you go pee-wee in the potty, you get a, a sticker, and when you get enough stickers, you get a prize from in here. Okay. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. 
I set a timer for 15 minutes. Every time, and I had her pick the ringtone that she wanted when the timer went off. Every time that tone went off and the timer went off, she would know it's time to go potty. And so, you know, it took a couple times for me to tell her, um, for her to get it. But eventually she was like, oh, time to go potty, time to go potty, time to go potty. So every 15 minutes, all day long, we did that. Timer went off. We went potty. Timer went off. We went potty. Timer went off. We went potty. <laughs> I tried to vlog this experience. Um, I really wanted it on my vlog channel so that people could see exactly how I did it and how it went. But it was so frustrating that first day. Let me tell you, she didn't go in the potty one time. Not one time. That whole day. And she had accidents all day. Oh, so yeah, get a lot of... Um, Get a lot of underwear because you're going to be going through a lot. And good thing I knew, I mean, I pretty much knew that, so I had a lot of underwear. But I really thought we'd at least have one success. So I was really frustrated at the end of that day because every 15 minutes we were going and she wouldn't go. And she knew because she had gone in a potty before. Um, I just think it was very overwhelming for her because also that day and the next day, my she was... Um, very grumpy, very clingy, and very, I think that the change and trying to learn this huge new thing was very overwhelming for her, and, um, yeah, she was, she had a little bit of an issue the first two days, so that's why I ended up not vlogging, because I was like, I just need to pay attention to her, and not be paying attention to the camera, and then I'll just do a video after. Um, so that's kind of what happened. The first two days, no success. None. And I just kept it up every 15 minutes, and then nap times and bedtime, put her in the um, pull-up. So I'm over here thinking on the third day, I'm going to try this one more time, and if not, we need to figure out a different system because this isn't working. Um, I think what I did the second day to get her sort of excited is when she would get... She would pee a little bit in her pants, well, a lot, and then I would rush her to the bathroom and then she'd get just a little bit into the toilet. When she did that the second day, because I just really wanted to get her to feel excited and proud whenever she got in the potty, I did give her her first sticker, um, and that actually helped. Um, she actually, she's like, oh, okay, like I get this, I get rewarded. Um, but the third day, all of a sudden it clicked for her. It just... We had a very successful day all day. I think we had one, maybe two accidents. Like I said, it was months ago, so I can't remember exactly. But um, the third day was amazing. Her attitude was better. She was getting it. She was going in the potty. She filled up probably, probably all the way to like here the very first day, or the third day. I mean, the first day it was clicking. Um... And yeah, and then she would get her prizes, she would get her candy, and ever since the third day, it just, she did great. Um, we took her, we kept her in pull-ups when we went out for a little while, but I think till we got halfway through the chart, we kept her in pull-ups when we went out because we didn't want her to just like, especially if we were at church or something, we didn't want her to like pee all over her church dress and all over the pews and all, you know, it just... I w and then she had her she has her dance classes and I didn't want her to pee on the floor of the dance class and it'd just be a huge deal and um so until she was halfway through and knew what was going on, I still encouraged her while we were out to ask me to go potty and she did. And I actually don't think I think we maybe had one accident when we were out. I think that was it, if that. Um so after we got halfway through and I knew that she was confident in telling me she needed to go. I started taking her out in underwear and only keeping her in pull-ups for when she was sleeping. So, um, the basic whole thing is it took about three days for her to really get it. After that, she just took off with it. Um, and she did really good for a long time. When she finally finished, I did a, when she finished the spiggle chart, I actually did a put a really big star here at the end and I put the dates that she began and started so let me just see she began oh October 8th so yeah that was a few months ago and she ended November 7th so it took her almost the entire well pretty much an entire month to finish this chart um which was fine like it was she loved it and I it was it was fun to do um and it was so long that I figured it would take a really long time 
So that is how I potty trained her. It was really, really fun. She did so, so good. Yeah, so if you guys use this method, let me know how it works. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I think I told you guys everything. I did a sticker for every time, got the prizes. Uh, yeah, I think I told you guys everything that I did, but if you have any questions or if I left anything out Please uh, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. All right I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye